Good luck. Thank you. So we're into another month's time. <laughs> so you stay right up here. Yeah, so you got car enough behind you all around you really. Okay. Uh, probably younger bulls over here. Big mature bulls will be holding nannies in the bit softer country. You really need to find the nannies at the moment. Yeah. So the nannies are probably going to be on the easier country, the sunnier country. Okay. Over back up behind you here. They're still going to be high. No worries. All right, we'll find them. Good luck. Thank yeah. you. Get into it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. This country. I feel a little deaf. Let me check this out. Wow. We got this fancy cabin here, which is a little unexpected. But um, I think we're gonna just kind of explore this valley a little bit and see if we can find some car. There's lots of glass in now. Yeah, just kind of pick it apart, see what we figure out where the best glassing is if we need to get up and look off the other side. I don't know. We gotta learn this valley a little bit better. I mean, we got some tussocks on this side, and yeah. But, I mean, there's grass up there, but that's dang steep. This is one of those places where we're probably not gonna see a lot, but we may see a giant. Really, really this is ridiculous. Yeah. This side is gnarly. I don't know how you find them in there. You have to get them out when they're feeding. Uh, yeah, this is brutal. This is uh. Like the only spot I can tell to get up on the top here, but this creek bed is pretty rough. Just can't get away from it. It's rocky and thick. Well, so far we have not seen a tar. We did hike ourselves up a little canyon here. You can follow this creek bed up and get into some cool spots. But um, it's gonna be really tough finding uh, tar in this. It's pretty gnarly up there. It was dark and all of a sudden, sun. <laughs> Check that out. Wow. Isn't it weird how the light just got bright all of a sudden in the valley, like reflecting? You can kind of tweak the little fire starter thing and get a better spark. Can you? Ow. Maybe get a little bit. It got smashed down. Oh, it just got bent back this way too much. <clears throat> Lampers. You're freaking genius. Little Heather's Choice. Smoked sockeye salmon chowder. Mm. This is good, dude. They're big old suckers. Wow, I'm not scared at all. Look at them stand up. looking thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sleepy chai today, huh? Yes, sir. Not chart, not cocoa. I'm mix it up, man. No cocoa. Cocoa. That cocoa was good. Yeah, I know. It's good. I like chai, though. I do like the chai. I like the chai when I'm at home. I like the cocoa when I'm camping. You're a complicated man. Yeah, well. So you ate a Heather's Choice, a ramen. Yeah, there's some seaweed in it. Mm. I just had two Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> I saw, I looked over and I saw those mallows today. Oh, I got like four bags this time. <laughs> I brought one last time. I almost bought one because I was at REI. 
I ordered them on Amazon. Changing out that a bulk, sleeping pad. A bulk order. Oh yeah. I brought them for you and Luke. <laughs> sure you did. I did. Uh huh. I brought I brought enough that I could I should say I brought okay. enough that I could share with you and Luke. Gotcha. I really didn't like sharing with you and, and Lusk that much. No, you only had one bag. I could see <laughs> this time. You're crying. This time I got bit. like I got four bags for six days. <laughs> <laughs> Just enough so it didn't hurt so bad when you had to share one. Yeah. They didn't weigh that much. You know? No, they're like they featherweight. But they were delicious. Especially on that yeah, bike. On, well that trip was grueling. We'll see how this one shapes up. Yeah. Yeah. You got some miles to put on to catch up with that one. I just this country doesn't lend itself to moving that far that no, quickly. It's hard to go. It's hard to cruise. Like mm -hmm. it's hard to just put the pack on and we'll run to the top of this hill. It's got obstacles. But maybe there'll be a spot up canyon where we can shoot up. I think our plan is hit that slope. Mm-hmm. Go up it. Glass this entire ridge tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. And then put some critters on glass tomorrow. Yeah. And if we don't, then I guess we either hike the pass mm -hmm. or go down to the bottom and hike around. Yeah. I kind of lean toward hiking around just because it's pretty good down there. You actually. can glass so much country from down there. Mm -hmm. I just kind of have to find what level they're at with all this snow, all these critters. Man, I did. Yeah. When I see my first car, I'm going to be jacked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I was spoiled last time. Yeah. We saw tar like, like every, like just tar everywhere. Yeah. This is not the same. Not the same. Who knows though, maybe we'll hit that other creek bottom mm -hmm. and they'll just, bah, it'll be like the valley of the tar. Just loaded. Mm -hmm. I can see that happen. So. Okay, my slumber's kicking in, my friend. Oh, so I need to move? Me. Are people in New Zealand just short? Yeah, man, because <laughs> this bed is there's not much room. You you guys are screwed. Move. You I and Luke move. are hosed. <laughs> oh, I can't sit up up there. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you get it, Ryan? I'm in there. I fall down in the middle of the night and my bricks don't know. Oh, bones. Yeah, I'm gonna punch right through that wall. Is it comfy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is there more room down here than up there? I don't know. It should be the same width, right? It's, um... I know if there are spiders, they will come right across my face right here. But I'm 5'10", and... Mm. You know, hey yeah. man, I already saved everyone from the spiders. I'm six foot. I like. I was like a hero, <sighs> risking life and limb. You're like Gimli. Yeah. That slumber is crushing me right now. You gonna make it up there? I'm be all cramped up in the morning. My legs not stretching out, but that's all right. Last time I slept with no pad. This time, I'll just uh, sleep in a ball. Uh. And I feel, huh? I feel solid, man. Uh. This is one hell of a... So the morning plan is uh, eat a little breakfast and go climb up the opposite hill to look back onto this hill and see if we can find some tar. Because we didn't find them last night. But it's really thick, so we got to get a little bit better vantage and get over there to look back over here. It's just too tough to see them when we're on the same side, so that's our morning plan. I'm going to make some hot water for the hill. We got a little insulated bottle. That's right. <laughs> I, I thought, you know, I'd be drinking, and then from across the valley, it'll reflect in the big 200-inch oh, buck, sees it. You and I thought, sometimes, I thought, man. you know what? I'm going for the greenish camo <laughs> covered. I see you take your hat off I've... on occasion. Do you worry about that? <laughs> that was low. We can... That was low. <laughs> this 
So we have been glassing the crud out of this mountain for a long time. Figured we'd come up here a couple hundred feet elevation to glass back on the, uh, the mountains that we were couldn't quite look up into from our side. So we got a pretty good vantage here. And, um, perfect day for it. We got clear skies, a little bit of a breeze, but haven't seen any tracks. And uh, just get the feeling that with this snow, a couple feet of snow that blanketed this place um, a while back, we may have had a mass exodus of this place because it is pretty void of anything track-wise. Pretty, uh, pretty grim up here right now. I think we're gonna head down valley, try to find some new areas, put our camp on our back and just go uh, put some miles on, try to find an area where there might be some tar. This, uh, this whole valley right now feels pretty dead. Well, we've been glassing here, making our way out of this canyon. It's interesting, like a month ago, somebody saw some, a couple of stags in here, red stags. So, who knows what we'll find. This is amazing so far, just incredible country. We're gonna glass it a little bit more, see some tracks going along this slope, side hilling. So, we've just been picking out through these little pockets, see if we can see something in there, but I'm actually glad we haven't found a tar yet, honestly. I like it better when you don't see anything on the first day or the second day or the third day. So when you do see one, you feel like you worked for it and that it was hard. Not that it just came easy. It looks like we're going to earn it. You see a live animal. I see an actual live animal. Two of them. Yeah. It's probably more. See where the sun line is? Yeah. Go up about. Oh. An inch with your finger. Left or right of this rock shoot. You see where the rock shoot with the white on top? Yeah. Go left a little bit, straight down. See this rock shoot? Yeah. Follow it up to right in the center of that. About an inch up. Not there we the go. Bam. <laughs> nice. Yes. Those are so pretty, dude. Live animals. Oh, get that 400 out. Let's film this. <laughs> Hallelujah, dude. They, they see us. Huh? I swear, they see us. They're looking right at I us. I know, they're looking right at us. That is a long ways <laughs> off, too. <laughs> that is, how far is that? Let me check. All right, so we, uh, we were moving down this draw just to look at some new country, and we finally picked up our first animals. We got a bunch of chamois. There's at least five. We picked up two right away and then three more stood up just a minute ago. They're such a sweet looking animal. They got that white face, but uh, saw a couple little bucks in there. So it's, we're just watching them. They're 480 yards away from here and uh, get a little video of them, but I'm not sure how they were onto us just us walking down this valley that far away. I mean, they picked us up like that, but they're back to feeding right now. So it's gonna be a tough play, but we gotta make it. It's pretty cool. First animals. <laughs> Five chamois up on this opposite hillside there. They're a little ways off, they're 480 yards. So what we're gonna try to do is cut the distance quite a ways. See if we can't get to within at least 300. Uh, we're gonna get down into this creek bed and try to keep a visual up in those rocks and see if we can't make a play before the sun goes away but uh, they seem to be pretty comfortable right in that rock slide. Little patch, 
patch of green, so hopefully we can get fairly close, get a shot. Biggest bodied one up there, and he stood there just perfect broadside. I saw the blood like instantly, like he just he was gone. He rolled, didn't he? Just yeah. Choo, yeah. Choo, choo. That's a that's, a, <laughs> <laughs> that's yes. steep, man. That's awesome. That makes me happy. <laughs> oh, dude, I did not expect that. He just, he went up, that that smaller one kind of went off to the right, and the bigger body one just stood there like quartering a little bit, almost perfectly broadside, and he just gave me a shot. It was perfect. It looked perfect, man. When he was standing there, I was like, oh, it's gonna happen. <laughs> you know the best part, Brian? We're gonna eat meat tonight. I know. It's a nasty country. Getting up there is going to be, look at this screw field. It's going to be rough. But. All right. Well, we got to skedaddle up this hill because uh, we're going to lose light fast. Yeah, we are. So, we got about 200 more yards. We're, we just got off the riverbed, heading up to the chamois. And uh, I'll be honest, it's a little dicey going up this hill. It's it's steep. It's all fours, holding on to everything, brush, rocks, trying not to uh, slide because it's a long way to the bottom. <laughs> it hurt a little, but we just got to shimmy up these uh, these little chutes. I'll try to get up there, but it's steep, man. Oh, 
Fucker. Find him? Sweet. He's right there. Holy smokes, that was a steep hill. One of the steeper hills he could go up. What do you think, Ryan? <laughs> that is a good looking animal. Look at that thing. It's awesome. Not very big, is he? No. <laughs> Luckily, I wouldn't be able to carry him down this I'd help you, but I'm filming. <laughs> Dude. I got shammy. I got shammy envy right now. <laughs> oh, what a sweet looking critter. Wow. Well, he, looked, he looked way bigger from way down in the river bottom. But they are tiny. My gosh. I don't know if that's a big one or not, but it's the biggest bodied one of the five. 400 yards? 400 yards. On a mini target. Center by <laughs> Oh, that's just such a sweet animal. Oh, man. Love it. We eat good tonight, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> they got like this ridge. This like spiky ridge comes right down their back. It's like long hair. It's pretty cool. Starts here, so we're blonde. All the way down to the butt. Love it, man. Nice job. Look where you took that shot from. Yeah. It's straight up. Straight up. <laughs> <Dude>. Straight up. <laughs> Can't really get any steeper. But uh, what do you think about these things, man? Oh, God, is, I mean, those are so sharp. sharp. I mean, I don't know how you age these chamois, but a lot of rings on this thing. It was grim, man. It was grim until <laughs> Ch changed real picked quick. Picked up a we? couple. Get a little meat tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be, I'm excited. Get this on the fire, eat some. You want to shoot for a cabin tonight? These things are sharp. Yeah, I think so. A hut. What do you want to do with it? You want to keep this? I'm thinking. I mean, that's it's that a, as nice of a hide as you can get. It, and it's small. I mean, I think so. I mean, he's so pretty. Keep it. The colors on him. Yeah. So awesome. Got this uh, <laughs> spiky thing on here. It's pretty sweet. Congrats, man. Well done. I like it. Good eyes. Kind of liking this. Uh, this place, this New Zealand place. Yeah. I'll bet he's gonna be good after this day. Yeah. Over a fire. So can we eat his heart? Yeah, I'm no. Paley's gonna eat the heart. <laughs> she, she you said the tar. She gets she the tar, wants heart. tar heart. But 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 so the chamois we the first eat. thing if I tell her I got a chamois she's gonna say well, where's the heart? <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me Paley ranks higher than starving Luke and Brian. It's not even close, buddy. <laughs> I, I guess that's fair. But I will give you a good chunk of back strap. How's that? I'll try that Deal. Tonight. Deal. All right. Let's oh, this out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at mm -hmm. that shot. Hmm? Look at that shot. I know, right? When I saw the, the, when I saw you hit him and he just bloomed red right there, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I was like, he's dead. You center punched him. I was like, 
and I think you said, did I, did I get him? I'm like, oh, yeah, I mean, it, there's no. <laughs> and because he was still standing, I was surprised at that. With a 300, 200 grain bullet, 300 wind mag. Yeah, that's crazy. He was with that shot, because that's right through his right through. pump. Hmm. And then he was like, stumbled down. It went about 20 feet and it was still standing, but I just saw it just gushing out the side. And then it just fell, but it, it stayed standing way longer than I expected. Shammy, Shammy hide. We got this thing skinned out. It's not a whole lot of weight to it, but uh, really thick. Thick, thick hide on him. It's pretty sweet. Beautiful. I'm glad we caped it. We took the uh, took the hide. It's gonna be super cool. We've got a little trip to a cabin now. Find a hut tonight and cook up our chamois. Looking forward to that. It's been a beautiful day. I'm shocked at how pretty that chamois coat is and how thick it is. But I guess, you know, they're living in these mountains like these tar. So they've got the coat for it. It's a beautiful animal. We did a Brian Lamper's famous night hike. <laughs> and uh, here we are in the cabin. Oh, this thing is so much nicer than the one we found <laughs> last night or yesterday. That little, little two bunk tiny cabin. This thing tiny. has six bunks. Long bunks, so I'm not gonna be trying to push my feet out the wall. And they're clean, man. These cabins are great. It's almost a little too nice. You're supposed to be roughing it. I know, I was just, it's unreal, like, to find cabins like this in this kind of country with these yeah. kind of critters running around and it's all to ourselves. Yeah, nobody just, here. It's crazy. It's about as wild a country as you could imagine. Look at that thing, it's unreal. It's such a cool little critter. It does kind of look, it looks like an antelope. I mean, mm -hmm. the eyes and stuff. Yeah, it's got the head. It's got the head of an antelope. Yeah. Dude, I'm stoked. Tomorrow, we'll poke our head out of this cabin. It looks like you can see this whole valley up each side back there. And I think if we just walk out here, we can glass with the spotter back up the valley to where these chamois were. They really have hammered that area. Looks like they might want to come back out and hit that again tomorrow. We'll check, see if they're in there. We might get back in there and get on another chamois. But dude, they have bionic vision. These things were, they spotted us from 550 away and they were on to us the whole time if we had two rifles we probably could have shot two mm -hmm. but ryan shot the biggest one in the group so it's better that we just find another one but I yeah i mean how they move man so see those cool. little mm -hmm. that was quick. i told you they were little targets <laughs> i couldn't tell through the knockers and the scope like, how big are they? i'm like little you look pretty big <laughs> I figured he'd be like 100 pounds at least, but no. How much do you think he weighs? He's not even close. No. I have no idea, but... Coos deer small? Smaller. Oh, smaller than the coos. Way smaller than that coos, for sure. Smaller than your coos? Probably the same as mine. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> about the same size as yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... What a cool coat, right? It's just this, yeah. It's so just thick. thick. 
So we got a little bit of Johnny's pepper and we are putting that on some chamois. Chamois backstrap should be pretty good. Let's see if we can get this thing a little hotter. All right, so I've never had the uh, <clears throat> Ignite Citrus Bliss. That's one of Ryan's favorites. It's good. And it's, good. I, 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 it's been out like a couple months, right? I think so. I, I just missed it. I love it. I didn't notice. So here we go. We're going to decide. Luke says Tiger's Blood, Pink Lemonade, and Citrus Bliss, he thinks are like the top flavors. See, I... I say citrus bliss and pina colada, so. I do like pina, I like coconut. I think chamois and citrus bliss are gonna be like, pow, you know? Okay, here's the first test here. Oh yeah. That's good, right? That's good. It's real good. It's all you're gonna be <laughs> having from here on out. Houston, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> So we uh, got some thin little strips of chamois here. We tried out some thicker cuts in the beginning and they were a little bit chewy. So we went super thin, quick cook with some Johnny's and that's about as good as it gets. Wouldn't you say, Brian? Yeah, I would say super like- Super good. That's, I tried it that's the thick. way to go. I tried it really raw, but this super thin sliced. Thin strip, just like, Boom, boom. Each side cooked a little bit. And you put some little bit of Johnny's on there. Salt. Yeah. And it's literally like, it just comes apart in your mouth. It's perfect. That's the way to cook it, man. That's hard to beat. Mm-hmm. There's not like a gaminess to it too much. No. At all. Not at all. I got a feeling we're going to eat most of that chamois while we're up here. Because it's about the size of a jackrabbit. Yeah. <laughs> Once you took the fur off of that thing, yeah, it was like a little, small little jackrabbit greyhound. Yeah, it's fur. such a thick hide. Makes it actually look bigger, and it's not very big. You need the hide on. But. That's why it surprised me that he didn't go down. You hit him with that 300, and he didn't drop. It he just stood there. His lungs right out. Tough little critter. Yeah. I wonder how old it is. Doesn't What's we'll, your guess? We'll figure out those rings. I'm gonna say he's uh gosh, they can't be that. What do Tar live? Tar live to be what? 14? 15? 15, 16, I think. Yeah, I don't know. If those rings are anything, I mean there's over a dozen rings on there. But no idea. Don't even want to guess. I don't know. Typically, those rings do mean they are growth rings. Mm -hmm. Typically, on goats and other Sheep animals, and whatnot, yeah. it's got a pronounced hook, you know, curve. And, mm -hmm. But more than twelve rings, my guess is old. Mm -hmm. But 